Hi, today's video is about um, the pre-lab on how to do the investigating friction lab. The purpose of this lab is to see the effect of several different factors on the friction. And you're going to do that by measuring the force. So I want to remind you that a force is a push or a pull. And so we're going to be measuring that force in newtons and we're going to be using the spring scale like you watched on the video the other day. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is to bend your piece of wood by the eye hook. Hold it nice and still. We don't want to do it around. And we're going to which is the larger surface area side and a B side because we're going to see what the effect of surface area has on the amount of friction that this piece of wood is going to experience. So one of the things we're going to have to do is find the surface area of side A. I'm just going to remind you that the formula for surface area of a rectangle is the length times the width. So we are going to measure the length of side A in centimeters and the width of side A in centimeters. You're going to multiply length times width. And then the smaller side is side B, so you're going to measure the length and the width. And that's going to get recorded on your data table 1 and 2. Okay? So, the first thing that we're going to do is find out the effect of surface on um, the amount of friction that an object has. So, you're going to take your spring scale and you're going to first do this with side A. We're going to have three trials on side A, which is the bigger side. And then you're going to turn your piece of wood and do three trials on side B. So what you're going to do is you want to make sure that your um, eye hook here is parallel with the piece, with the table. You're going to attach your spring scale and you're going to pull it nice and smooth. Now something that I want you to notice and you need to look for is something called starting friction. And you need to remember that all objects have something called inertia. And inertia is the ability to resist change. So this block of wood wants to stay where it is. So when I'm pulling on this, the object wants to stay at rest. Um, and the pull is going to go all the way up. You want to look for the highest number that it goes to. So that one went all the way up to three. And then once it gets going, um, you pull it nice and smooth. This is like around 1.2. So I'm going to demonstrate that again because you're going to do it three times. So you pull it nice and slow so you can see if you can see the starting friction. The time goes all the way up to about 2.2. And then once we get it going, this time it's around 1.2 to 1.4. Okay, so you're going to repeat that. You're going to do it three times. Okay, then we're going to flip your piece of wood to do on the smaller side, the side B. And it'll probably make it work better if you turn your eye hook. So again, that it's parallel to the surface of the table. And you're going to hook up your spring scale. And again, you're going to pull it nice and slow and steady. And this time it's a little bit smaller. It's like around 1.2. I'm going to repeat that three times. Those get put in data table one and data table two. So that's the effect on a smooth surface. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is repeat the same process, only we're going to pull it over a rougher surface, and I have taped here some sandpaper, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to look for the starting friction. Um, you're going to pull it nice and smooth and slow, and this time it's going all the way up to around 3.5. Four, and you just pull it nice and smooth. So you're going to repeat that three times. So you want to see if you can see the starting friction, see how high it goes up to. And it went all the way up to four. And now it's around 3.8. So you're going to pull it nice and smooth. You're going to do that three times on side A. And then you're going to flip it and turn your eye hook again. Perpendicular, parallel to the surface and spring scale and you're going to repeat that process and pull it three times on the smaller side, side B. So nice and slow and smooth. And you're going to pull it three times. Okay, so um, the last thing that we're going to do is um, just a one-shot deal thing here. We're going to add some weight. You can do it on either side A or side B. So we're going to add a weight. I'll have various weights around the room. And you're going to see what happens to the amount of force when you increase the weight of the object. So these two are pushing, they're pushing down onto the surface a little bit heavier. You can either do it um, onto the smooth surface or onto the rough surface. You're just going to compare your data with a lighter piece of wood 
and then adding that. So I'm just going to pull it a one shot time and see how much more um, force that you have to have to see it when you pull it. Okay, and um, once you get done, you're going to find the average of your three trials, both, um, both side A and side B on the smooth surface, side A and side B on the rough surface. And so it's going to remind you that to find an average, since we have three trials, you're going to add the three trials and then divide by once you get your data done, then um, there's going to be a poll that the class is going to participate in, and you'll be adding your data into an online data collection. And then there are some analysis and conclusion questions that you'll be answering in the lab. Thank you, and good luck.